Hey guys, in this video I'll be going over fuel management for the MiG-15. So the MiG-15 has two gas tanks, a front and a back. So you can see how much gas you got left with this gauge here with the yellow circle. Now the gauge is only for the front tank, uh, but all the gas gets drained out the back tank first, um, so it doesn't really matter. So when there's only 300 liters of gas left, this red light will turn on, which is basically telling you you got to get back to base. So for the control of the fuel system, uh, there's two pumps. This one up here is for the front tank and this is for the back tank. So remember the back tank is going to drain out first. So when the back tank drains out, this little green light is going to come on for a second tank. And when the green light comes on, you need to turn off the back tank's pump. So you just turn off this switch here. And then after that, uh, fuel will drain from the, uh, all the fuel will drain out the front tank. The only other fuel control is this black lever here. This is the shutoff. So if you put it all the way up to close, the fuel is shut off. And all the way down, the fuel is open. Now, whenever you're starting up, you don't want to put it all the way down in the beginning. You need to gradually bring it down. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you can see that in my startup tutorial. So besides that, um, there's nothing really else to go over with the internal tanks. It's pretty much run automatic. You just turn on these two pumps and you're good to go. All right, so now for the external tanks. So the MiG-15 can have external tanks on the wings. So to put them on, you click uh, backslash, you click ground crew, and rearm and refuel. And you can see you can put on 300, 400, or 600 liter tanks. So I'll just put on the 300 liter. So here's what the plane looks like with the external tanks on. So in the cockpit, there's nothing you need to do. It will drain the, the fuel out the external tanks first automatically, and then it will go to the internal tanks. The only thing you, you need to do is turn on this switch. So what this switch does is it's, um, it just turns this light on, or it makes the light work. So whenever your external tanks are out of gas, this uh, light will turn on, this drop tank light, and that's how you know your external tanks are out. One thing to keep in mind, whenever you're on the ground, or if you're going really slow, uh, this light will turn on, even if there's tank, even if there's gas in the tanks, just because that's how it works. Uh, so don't worry about it. Once you get real, once you uh, speed up, you'll notice that the light will turn off. Okay, so just to demonstrate what I just said, so my my external tanks are full right now, but you can see the lights on for some reason. It's because whenever you're on the ground, it's just it just does that. Once you speed up, it'll turn off, and then um, whenever your tanks run out of gas, then it'll turn back on. So if you're going into combat, you don't want to have the tanks on. So in order to drop them, what you do is you come over here. And there's a switch that says emergency tank jettison, so you flip it up. And then there's this red cover, so you flip the red cover up and you click the button. And you can see my tanks are gone now. Then you can turn this light off. Thanks for checking out this video and I'll see you later.